What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people have been asking me, Truth, where Lil Dirk been? Um, I think Dirk been cooling, man. You gotta remember, he kind of burnt his face and shit. So I think he laid low trying to heal, trying to get the skin right. Uh, but we did see him in videos with like Khaled and shit like that. Uh, listening to Jay-Z verse and shit like that. I just think he been laying low, probably healing himself up, getting his body ready. You know, this guy is the internet. He is the culture. He set the temperament on a lot of this shit. So you don't got to see him every day. He still got his imprint and shit like that. I think he been low key though. I ain't going to lie. I noticed that he's been more on the, on the business side as far as, you know, fashion. Uh, promoting this artist is one thing I noticed. Dirk didn't put 10 toes down on promoting the OTL brand now, especially with like Duty Low. I think Duty Low is the first artist besides King Von that Dirk really put the full promo behind as far as the marketing, the commercials, the putting all the videos on his YouTube channel to making sure that he in the videos and things like that. I think Dirk gave Duty Low a great look. Uh, promoted all the songs like I said all those videos on the YouTube channel. I think Dirk been looking at the business side uh, I think the next OTF artist gonna get that same look. I think this how he posed to do it You know this guy might be the biggest artist in the game It's time for him to bring his homeboys there too, and I think that's exactly what he's doing look for like booking them Look for like Bezu and them. Look for they albums They mixtapes to come out and have a heavy push with Lil Dirk on it in my opinion I think Dirk is taking the OTL brand a little serious right now. It's crazy how a little burn can make you think a little bit different. But uh, I just wanted to bring that up, y'all. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the homie Truth.